this is something about leishmaniasis they are the hemoflagellates there are two genus leishmania and trypanosoma the general feature of hemoflagellates are they are having single nucleus single kinetoplast single flagellum they exist in four different forms that is amastigoid promastigoid epimastigoid tripomastigoid these are the four different forms of hemoflagellates amastigoid that doesn't have flagella promastigoid epimastigoid and tripomastigoid tripomastigoid it is elongated spiral structure having one flagellum arising from the posterior end having volutin granules and a nucleus and this kinetoplast containing genetic material scientist william lishman has first identified the parasite in 19 from the soldier died of fever from india then chart donovan in 193 identify the parasite from the spleen of infected person in madras from india this name lishmania donovan was given in the honor of these two scientists it is a parasitic disease caused by bite of sand fly it is found in at least 88 countries of the world there are mainly three forms of uh, leishmaniasis first is cutaneous it involves skin at the site of sand fly bite other is visceral it involves the viscera like liver spleen and bone marrow and third one is rare form that is mucocutaneous it involves the mucous membrane of the mouth and surrounding area different species of leishmania causes different form of disease or infection epidemiology leishmania major and leishmania tropica are the two main major species among these leishmania major infects the skin leishmania tropica infects skin viscera and rarely mucocutaneous layer worldwide 12 million people are infected 90% of these are cutaneous leishmaniasis from afghanistan iran saudi arabia syria brazil and peru among these 90% of all visceral leishmaniasis came from the bangladesh brazil india and sudan and 90% of mucocutaneous leishmaniasis comes belongs to or comes from bolivia brazil and peru leishmaniasis this is the world map showing distribution of leishmaniasis Uh, south america brazil some part of india china here south east asia are affected synonym visceral leishmaniasis is also known as kala azar and dum dum fever mucocutaneous leishmaniasis is also known as chilero ulcer uta cutaneous leishmaniasis is also known as delhi boil Aleppo boil, Baghdad bot button, Oriental sore, and pin boils. These are the different species of leishmaniasis. Leishmania donovani complex causes visceral or kala azar. Tr- uh, tropicalis major. causes cutaneous leishmaniasis leishmaniasis 
Brazilensis complex, Mexicana causes mucocutaneous leishmaniasis, morphology of leishmaniasis, and life cycle. This is the promastigoid form that is present in the insect having nucleus, kinetoplast, and exonem. A mastigoid form that is seen in the human, it measures 3 to 4 micron by 2 micron size. It is having nucleus, kinetoplast having genetic material and vacuoles. Visceral leishmaniasis is occasionally transmitted by blood transfusion from one human to the other. A mastigoid form also known as LD body is found in the peripheral blood intracellular in the macrophage in the human. This is the macrophage and these all are the LD bodies or a mastigoid form of leishmaniasis. Pro Promastigoid that is found in the mid gut then they passes to the proboscis of the sand fly and this is the sand fly. Sand fly vector biting to the human skin. Life cycle in the sand fly. Uh, sand fly bites to the human skin in fact skin sand fly proboscis are blocked by promastigoid so while blood meal they regurgitate some blood while feeding so they aspirate the amastigoid in the blood or tissue juice they goes to the mid gut and they changes into the promastigoid and they, then they are reproduced by binary fusion followed by they passes to the pharynx and reaches to the proboscis where they sets in and wait for the next feed. All this process in the sand fly takes 7 days and this is known as extrinsic incubation period. Life cycle in the human when sand fly bites they transfer Promastigoid form to the skin. This promastigoid are ingested by macrophage, and there is reproduction inside the macrophage by binary fusion. Once adequate amount of uh, reproduction is done, there is rupture of parasitized macrophage that releases the a mastigoid form, and this a mastigoid again infect the other macrophage and other cell and there is multiplication of the amastigoid form that leads to the three different effects. First, in the circulation, the reaches the amastigoid form with macrophage reaches the peripheral circulation. From there, they lodges into the reticuloendothelial cells of various organs like liver and there this amastigoid are again taken up by the mosquito on next feed. They can also remain in the localized skin or subcutaneous form and again they are transferred to the mosquito or sand fly. In localized skin, they may infect mucocutaneous layer of the skin and causes mucocutaneous leishmaniasis and again from there also the sand fly gets a mastigoid form. This is the complete whole life cycle of uh, leishmaniasis. Sand fly takes the blood meal, deposits the promastigoid into the macrophage. Again, they divide by binary fusion in the macrophage, forming a multiple a mastigoid form. Macrophage a mastigoid are released from macrophage. Again, they goes to the sand fly. Mean mid gut. The, there is release of uh, a mastigoid form to pro mastigoid in the mid gut. Then they divide by binary fusion, binary diffusion, and multiple pro mastigoid are deposited into the proboscis of the sand fly. Here I indicates the infective stage, that is pro mastigoid stage, and D is the diagnostic state that is a mastigoid of leishmaniasis. Pathogenesis, there is mainly two mechanisms depending upon the host immune system response. It can be offensive or defensive. In defensive, there is multiplication 
and mobilization of reticuloendothelial cells with stimulation of immune system so there is enlargement of liver spleen and lymph nodes later on there is fibrosis cirrhosis and hemorrhage occur in liver that causes jaundice in peritoneum that causes ascites and in skin it causes rash there is localization in the skin after treatment so migration of parasite to skin causes post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis in short pkdl if in the defense mechanism this occur and while in the offensive mechanism skin nasal mucosa involvement occurs that lead to ulceration in the skin now parasitization and breakdown of the reticulo endothelial cell occur there is release of parasites along with debris and that causes further parasitemia or parasitization of the other macrophage this all lead to secondary effects like displacement degeneration of parenchymal tissue toxemia fever weight loss weakness pallor cardiac dilatation tachycardia low blood pressure hematic murmur ankle edema in bone marrow there is replacement of bone marrow anemia leukopenia thrombocytopenia degenerative myocarditis stomatitis purpura epistaxis occurs and there is deep pigmentation in the skin there is darkening of the skin on the forehead and temple and mouth so this is known as kala azar or black fever pathology of visceral leishmaniasis leishmania affects mainly spleen liver and lymph node in spleen there is parasitized macrophage and epithelial cell deposition so there is splenomegaly and pain due to peris splenitis spleen appears congested dark soft friable and there is marked enlargement of spleen capsule is thicken later on on chronic state the infarction and fibrosis of the spleen also occur in liver there is hepatomegaly liver appears enlarged there is fatty degeneration and it may cause cirrhosis on prolonged infection kuffer cell parasitize kuffer cell proliferate and there is atrophy of liver cell later on fibrosis occur in lymph node there is a lymphadenopathy and reactive hyperplasia of parasitized macrophage clinical features kala azar or visceral leishmaniasis as we have seen cutaneous leishmaniasis and mucocutaneous leishmaniasis mucocutaneous leishmaniasis that is very rare the parasite invade the local tissue promastigoid in are implanted in the tissue by scent fly bite there is cutaneous manifestation like oriental sore that spread to the this uh, paras uh, promastigoid state of the parasite spread to the mucosa of face nose ear larynx pharynx so there is parasitized cell causes inflammation infiltration and necrosis later on fibrosis of this area occur all this lead to some secondary effect like edema capillary involvement necrosis and extensive destruction of the tissue it can also cause secondary infection by bacteria and spread of infection to the lung and other tissue lastly healing with fibrosis occur all this leads to all this secondary effect finally leads to extensive disfiguration of lesion there is general like constitutional symptoms like fever pain anemia there is bronco pneumonia and septicemia also occurs 
cutaneous leishmaniasis when sand fly injects the promastigoid there is accumulation of inflammatory cell around the amastigoid form that is transformed from promastigoid mainly macrophage accumulate then there is surrounding acanthosis of cellular infiltration and this remains to the localized skin followed by there is ulceration and necrosis of the infected tissue and skin that causes or predispose to the secondary bacterial infection this ulcer is sharp cut edge and surrounding in duration the healing occurs by granulation formation healing takes around 2 to 12 months which depressed and pigmented scar this is the visceral leishmaniasis patient having massive splenomegaly and accumulation of blood in the peritoneum a case of cutaneous leishmaniasis lesion at the site of sand fly bite with granulation tissue again granulation tissue at the cutaneous leishmaniasis uh, lesion on the foot very big lesion with granular tissue at the cutaneous leishmaniasis sand fly bite site scarring at the cutaneous leishmaniasis lesion on the pinna mucocutaneous leishmaniasis infecting nasal mucosa mucosa around the oral cavity and chains mucocutaneous leishmaniasis affecting nasal mucosa this is the classic case of post kala azar dermal leishmaniasis infecting whole face laboratory diagnosis of leishmaniasis is done by examination of peripheral blood smear for the ld bodies that are found in the macrophage blood culture can be done on n and n culture media that is specific for leishmania biopsy can be obtained from the skin bone marrow splenic aspirate can be examined for the leishmania ld bodies non specific serological test includes aldehyde test antimony test specific serology that are elisa for antigen or antibody detection and leishmanin or montain gro test ld bodies these all are the ld bodies in the peripheral blood again these are the peri- peripheral blood smear examination for the ld bodies biopsy can be obtained from the skin from the age of the lesion or ulcer montain gro test it is done by injecting subcutaneous injection of antigen from the leishmania and the lesion is examined after the 48 hours of time period for the in duration or redness at the site of inoculation of antigen thank you